Hello. How's everyone doing today? I'm going to be talking to you about Barrister and Man's Sandalwood. Aptly named. Um, so, Omnibus, Omnibus, I can't say that word the first try. Omnibus Base, which isn't new to this channel. This is actually my first tub of Omnibus. I've had a few samples and I wanted to, um, before I say what I'm about to say next, I wanted to get a tub. So this stuff, as you can see, I've only used it a couple times. Uh, super soft, very, very soft. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a crop. And there's nothing wrong with that. Goodly amount. Get it in the bowl. So I wanted to I wanted to get my own tub before I called it a crope, like officially a crope, because you never know with that agitation of scooping a sample, whether you get it from a friend or you get it from Barrister and Man, who's really good about doing their own samples, or Maggards, who I think doesn't do their I think they they get samples from Barrister and Man, but I think they also um, they also dig their own. With that agitation, you don't know how that's going to break down the consistency of the product. Sorry, of the soap, crope, whatever. So we're calling it a crope. And if you're new to wet shaving, um, this is a great product in the omnibus base to get. Uh, not necessarily the scent. We're going to talk about that in a second. But the the omnibus product from Barrister and Man. I, my previous base I had was Excelsior which I still think was good. A lot firmer, obviously, more uh, a lot thirstier. This can take a lot of water, but it doesn't need as much water as Excelsior needed, uh, in my opinion. So I was gonna get an omnibus in Seville. I've had it on my birthday, Christmas list and my birthday list and no one's bought it. So I, eventually I just have to get it. Um, I have this thing about rebuying soaps. Like I want it, but I don't wanna have to buy it again. I want someone to buy it for me, so. So enough about that though, let's talk about this. So this came out, I really like sandalwood. Sandalwood is such a great, versatile fragrance. It's in so many of uh, men's colognes. It's a great base uh, note because it goes with everything. It goes with patchouli, it goes with cedar, it goes with tobacco, it goes with vanilla, it goes with um, citruses, it goes with oud, it can go with just about anything. I don't. I think there's a shorter list of items that don't pair well with sandalwood than there are that you know, obviously the do. So I don't know what those are offhand. Uh, I don't want to say it's nothing because not everything goes with everything, but it's just a fantastic scent. So this is a, a special accord or blend that they came up with when they were making the EDP for Fougere Gothique. And they released it last year, I guess, in the Soft Hearts, which I didn't get. Um, and they re-released it in Omnibus, and I was like, I'm gonna get that. So I got that uh, from Maggard Razors, my last buy from them. And yeah, so I've used it a couple times, so I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna tell you that, so just when you smell it, yeah, it's a bit muted there. Um, it has that more of that creamy sandalwood scent. It's a little more, I say it's a little bit more simplistic before you lather it up. So let me get it lathered and we'll talk about it from there, okay? All right. So, you can see we got a nice creamy lather going here. So, uh, I intentionally started with a, with a much drier brush than I normally do. just to see how much water this can take. You could literally just keep adding water to this forever and I don't know that the lather would break. Like don't dump like half a cup of water in there at a time, but like you could just keep going and going and going without. But you could also just whip it up real quick and go. I really think it's a versatile base. I think it's great for beginners and um, long time wet shavers alike. I think that this was a really intelligent base to release at this time you know i started with excelsior that was probably like seville and excelsior probably the second 
maybe even the first real artisan soap that I picked up. And I had trouble with it. There was a lot of drier lathers with it. And I just don't think that you'll have this problem as a beginner with this omnibus base. But anyways, let's talk about the scent. So definitely got a bit deeper there. There's that smoothness off the top that you can get from sandalwood. And then there's a distinct green woodiness, in my opinion, from the base when it's lathered up. It's interesting because it's basically just like every version of, of sandalwood that you can imagine layered on each other. Just part of that accord, I'm sure, but it's interesting. So like I said, there's a nice greenness, slight spiciness really deep down that comes out once it's lathered up. So if you like, really enjoy sandalwood. And I, I enjoy sandalwood. I wouldn't say that like it's my favorite scent. It goes with a lot of my favorite scents like cedar and some other things that I can't think of right now, but cedar is definitely up there with me and citruses, things like that. But it's in so many men's fragrances and everything. Basically this is a great pickup if you just wanna have something that you don't have to worry about matching. It's like almost so easy to match it with anything that I think, you know, just get it. I mean, am I gonna get an aftershave? I don't know yet, maybe. If it's still around, next time I had to go to buy some shaving stuff, I think it would just go so well with everything. The thing about like, I love Seville, but the thing about Seville is it's, it really forces you into a citrus barbershop world when it comes to matching other products. So I mean, that's great if you're going barbershop, I almost got the EDP for Seville. But I didn't, obviously, but I might. And then as far as like, would I get the splash? Sure. Maybe even the balm, because then you could use it at extra sandalwood dimension to whatever you're wearing or whatever you want to wear. Would I get the EDP? Probably not. Do they make an EDP for this? I don't think they did. I don't think if they did, they shouldn't have. It's kind of redundant because it would go with so much stuff. So if you're looking for a scent that you can match with just about anything, this is a good one. If you're big, 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 big time on sandalwood, this is a must have for you. I have no regrets about picking it up. Those are my thoughts on the scent. As you can see, it's plenty slick. It's plenty smooth. There's plenty of cushion still in my lather here. It didn't take long to build. Omnibus is good to go, especially if you're a beginner. For real, if you're a beginner, just get a set of Seville from Barrister Man and whatever razor floats your boat. We're using the 6S today, obviously, with a on plate four, the third use, silver blue. I just wanted something so I could go on autopilot to share my thoughts on this kind of stuff. Now, it's not pervasive, the scent strength. I would not say it's a high scent strength product. I can still smell it if I try to smell it. Like I just inhaled now and I clearly have it like up in my nose. But that being said, I have noticed after I use this, um, and I don't tub lather with this, even though the directions say to, because if you want to kill omnibus fast, tub lather that and it'll be gone in no time. I used to exclusively tub lather the Seville and, and Excelsior. Very rarely did I bowl lather it, but, um, the scent of sandalwood lingers in the room. Is it, it's not super strong, but it's not gonna get, you know, I can smell it when I inhale like that. I'm, it's not like a, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example, like a lesion we just used where you can get it the whole time or 
or Holy Caw or Ariana and Evans or other soaps you can think of, PAA, where you can really smell it the whole time. It's not one of those. But I can still smell it, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna finish up my shave and I'll come back, do a little post and show you how you can match this with whatever you want. So just running a quick little touch up right here on my chin. My weak spot for that 6S is always gonna be under the room, which just because how big it is. It's got that fat boy syndrome. Where it's just kind of got a bulkiness about it. Sorry, I thought. Did I get by that? Oh, maybe a little bit. Hmm. I think I had a little pimple right there. I got caught. I did notice. I'm going to do a. Let me get some more out of the bowl here, just to, this is the last thing we're doing, so let's just get it all out of here if we can. So. Can you see plenty of life? And slickness. And everything else you need left in this base for the proper third pass. Some soaps, cropes, creams are dead by the third pass. So I've really been trying to go for more of a two pass with pickup situation. Really more of a a two pass in general these days. That's about it. Low is, I wanna go on my neck with a across the grain. Got this lovely thing going here that somehow I haven't caught yet. It's feeling good. So anyways. Again, um, Omnibus, great, great base. You can get it to pretty much whatever consistency you prefer. And you can make that argument, you can do any soap, but it still needs to be said. Some soaps, it doesn't matter what you do. They wanna do one thing. We ain't naming any names, but you can imagine. If you know, you know. All right, so I'll get this green stuff cleaned up for real this time. It's one of my fake, fake outs there, guys. And I'll be back and we'll talk about it in post. See, legit this time, guys. Got some br brand new Fairs Witch Hazel Toner. Stuff's more expensive than I realized. It's like 11 bucks a bottle. I mean, it's gonna last a long time. I thought I was paying a lot for the Galactic Witch Hazel, which I finally killed my second bottle of the other week, but, and then I intentionally got the unscented, no alcohol um, facial toner, not the OG. So let's sit for a minute, we'll talk about it. So as you can see, I did, what, two and a half passes? And I have a ton of soap left. Now I did use a lot of product. So I'm gonna say product, I can talk about hair products. But yeah, 
And if you love sandalwood, we don't. you don't even need to just buy it. You should have bought it already. You should have bought it halfway through the video if you really love sandalwood. So, if you like sandalwood, you might like it. It's sandalwood. That's all there is to it, people. There aren't any... There's, I mean, I don't know what other ingredients might be in it, but there's nothing noticeable in there that's propping it up that's going to make you, you know, there's no patchouli, there's no vanilla, there's no cedar, there's no tobacco, there's no rose, there's no oud, there's no anything that you want to pair it with. So just know, I would buy this soap first, like I did, if you're on the fence. If you love sandalwood, just buy the whole damn thing. If I like was ride or die 100% for sandalwood. And really I am because it's in so many fragrances that I enjoy, but um, I didn't buy the splash. I might, you know, I got a, a big sample. If you can look here, you can see the bottom of the, of the container there. I scooped a really healthy sample for my father to see if he likes it because Father's Day and his birthday is coming up to see if it's something he'd be interested in because then I could just get him that and you know a set of ads so we'll see and if the time comes if i i might want it we'll see but for today we're going to match it up with what i have left of my seville here this is a very old seville not that there's much difference i i doubt in the, what the ingredients are and everything but god's barbershop I'm using a barbershop-esque pomade and I put that has sandalwood in it. And I put on a <clears throat> excuse me. I always bleep in the alcohol. I put on a, a <clears throat> very close to the skin fragrance today that also has sandalwood in it because it does. And for all I know this has sandalwood in it. I actually don't know that this has sandalwood in it, so. I'll look up the, the, the notes after I'm finished here and pop it up on the screen. You know, is he right or wrong? I, I probably doesn't, but it might. You never know. That's the sneaky little devil that Sandalwood is. So again, Omnibus, good to go. If you're new, grab it. If you're not sure what scent to get, get Seville. Thank me later either way. Um, if you've been wondering how good the Sandalwood is in Sandalwood, it is the sandalwood is Sandalwood that I have experienced. And that is pretty much it for my review on Barrister Man Sandalwood. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, you know, we just cracked 300 subscribers. So thank you everybody who keeps putting up with us and coming back for more and joining up. Um, I don't know when our next subscriber giveaway is gonna be. It might be 350, I don't know. Tell your friends. But you know, our, our, our giveaways are always banging. So one way or the other, uh, we will see you next time and yeah and if you need any further proof this stuff is a croak got a timeless bowl here super deep lather channels right it's damn near impossible to get soap out of it i always end up having to rinse it or like soak it for like an hour to 24 hours to get all the soap remnants out of it well guess what just rinsed it i got all the soap out so it either all made it into the brush or it all dissolved right now so croak at me you know where to find me